Hey guys, what's going on? Fight Almighty checking in. Look at this room I'm in. This is like uh, something straight out of uh, Dead Poets Society. <laughs> this is uh, known as the. Uh, uh, Sorry. <laughs> this is known as the uh, Force Club Room, and this is part of the School of Forestry Sciences here at UW. This was one of the original buildings on this campus here at the University of Washington. This building is so old that <clears throat> there's no elevator in it because they no longer can get parts for that elevator. So there's just no elevator in this building. Uh, they'd have to tear apart the building and retrofit it. So um, it's pretty cool. This is where I like to come to study a lot. And uh, it's pretty close to the biology department. And uh, I just like the ambience in here. So yeah, um, this is a place I hang out a lot. I like to study here. And uh, my voice is really wore out right now because I've been in talking meetings all day. And uh, But we'll get through this. So anyhow, uh, things are going great for the Fight Almighty Project. My lifts are going up, up, up. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, which if you don't, please do, because I put more updates on Instagram than I do on videos because I don't have to spend time editing. So if you want daily updates check out my Instagram, always posting food and workout uh, snaps. Anyhow, a couple weeks ago I posted this video where I totally collapsed and failed under a uh, box squat at 225. And this is quite a bit lower than uh, my regular squat, which is creeping up towards 300 uh, at 275 right now. And I'm really like trying to get to that 300 club this year. Um, I just want to get that with under a year's training. I think that'd be a really good benchmark for me. It'd be like double my body weight. And uh, so that's considered a pretty big lift to do double your body weight and squat. Anyhow, I really needed to break down my squat. So I started doing these box squats because it works the part of my lift that really hits the area of my back that I injured. And a couple weeks ago, I posted this video, 225, collapsed under it, totally failed, didn't have it. And I really wanted to put that up there to just show that, like, you have to fail. You have to fail for success. And I think so many people when they're younger get really embarrassed by failure of any kind or looking stupid or looking silly. You know, I can remember a time when I would go into the gym and if I failed a lift in the gym, I would like just be kind of embarrassed like I was didn't know what I was doing and uh, you, you just can't be afraid of failing you know fear of failure will ruin you faster than anything failure is such a good teacher so posted that video and then a week later I went back at it again collapsed under it again almost got over the hard part but just couldn't push past that one edge. Uh, less than two weeks later, this week, I try it again, and here's my results. Boom. Solid. Solid, strong, nice lift. So it just goes to show that if you just keep chipping away at things, you'll get gains. Um, you know, a lot of people who get the best gains, they're not always the most genetically talented. They tend to be the people who are the most consistent. And consistency is more important than anything. You cannot have a perfect program, be consistent, and still get great gains. Uh, if you're going to go to competition level, sooner or later you're going to have to shore up your program. But I think my point is just that consistency is the key to success in any endeavor. Any endeavor, whether it's meditation or biology or statistics or lifting or hula hooping it doesn't matter uh, consistency of practice is the key to success so big gains there to be able to do 225 on that uh, box
box squat was that was that was a good accomplishment for me this week and I should be seeing my regular squat at 300 I would say maybe by the end of this quarter this brings me to consistency consistency and consistency in training but also consistency 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 in diet um, you have to be focused on that level of consistency. If you're trying to find what's not working for you, or what will work for you, or you're trying to get results, whether it's lose weight or gain weight, or put on mass, or get cut up, you have to have that, not necessarily 100% discipline, but that day in, day out consistency. Uh, there was this guy that I messengered with, and I didn't get what he was saying to me for a couple of years. But he said, you know, it's not how fast you can go on Friday, but it's how consistent you can have big numbers Monday through Friday. And I get it now. You know, it's that level of consistency. So for me with diet right now, uh, I'm giving starch a consistent experiment um, after hitting, you know, sort of some plateaus and then dips in my performance with um, mostly raw and largely fruit. And my results right now, I believe, are speaking for themselves. I'm having better physical output. I'm having better physical growth. I'm having better sleep. And uh, I'm just being consistent. And it's not... So this is my after workout meal. It's about one cup of garbanzo beans, one full pepper, three tomatoes. It's half romaine, half steamed broccoli under there, half an avocado, a little dollop of hummus, pre-made hummus, a bit of Italian herbs, and some lemon. Super healthy, at least 30 grams of protein, if not more, and uh, yeah, tons of antioxidants, delicious. Boom.